Do you know that women have lower chances than men to be resuscitated and survive out of hospital cardiac arrest? Can I defibrillate this woman? Ask yourself. Yes, you can, even as an untrained bystander. With simple audio and visual commands, AEDs are designed to be simple to use for even the layperson. Let's talk about the steps of defibrillation on this woman, shall we? Subscribe and click on the link at the end of this video for the Don't Get Sick checklist. With the arrival of the AED kit, immediately stop what you're doing. Use the trauma shears or scissors in the kit for cutting through her clothing to expose her chest. Use the small towel in the kit for wiping away any moisture on her chest. And remove her bra if it has a metal underwire. If there are metal piercings on her torso, remove them before using the AED on her to avoid possible interference as use of a defibrillator on a woman wearing an underwire bra may predispose to arcing or fire. Use the included razor for shaving her chest if it's a very hairy chest. You have opened the case and pressed the power button. According to the simple audio and visual prompts on the AED, position it on the victim according to standard procedures. It doesn't hurt to know these positions prior to this. The AED is currently proceeding with a heart rhythm analysis, checking if it is a shockable rhythm or not. The shockable rhythms that the device will treat are usually limited to pulseless ventricular tachycardia, shortened to VT or VTAC. Ventricular fibrillation is the second one, which is shortened to VF or VFib. If it indicates a shockable rhythm, still by either the voice or visual prompt, mind you, the AED will instruct you to connect the electrode pads on her. Once the pads are attached, tell everyone, including yourself, to avoid touching the patient so as to avoid false readings by the unit. Don't worry if you forget, the AED will remind you. Then press that button to give and deliver the shock. Then restart external chest compressions or CPR immediately after shocking for two minutes once the defibrillator tells you to do so. Continue with chest compressions and rescue breaths until the patient shows signs of life like breathing or the defibrillator tells you to stop so it can analyze the heartbeat again. If not, then the defibrillator will tell you to press the button again for the second defibrillation. Remember, remember the defibrillator will tell you to continue external chest compressions if the heart rhythm is not shockable after the AED analysis. So restart the external chest compressions immediately. Do not shock. All right? Remember that for every minute that this woman in cardiac arrest goes without being successfully treated by defibrillation, the chance of survival decreases by 7% in the first three minutes. So take action immediately, immediately. Start early, defibrillate, and click below on the link 
below the video and you'll be the healthier for it. I have a surprise for you.